I uh, grew up in Queensland with uh, three older brothers. My brother Will. Uh, yeah, actually, yeah. I, uh, my brother's name is Will Power. <laughs> it's absolutely true. I have a brother named Will. Do you know what it's like going with a brother named Will Power? <laughs> and your dad's like, "This is my son Damien. This is Will Power." <laughs> Look at him lifting weights already. He's only two. That's amazing. <laughs> Incredibly successful guy, my brother Will. Um, very successful guy. You wouldn't expect him to be a Garbo, would you? With a name like Will Power. And there he goes, getting the recycling. Very successful guy. He just won the IndyCar Series over in America. He's actually the first Australian ever to win an international IndyCar Series. Give it up for Will, an Aussie sportsman. Yeah! Yeah! He's done well. <laughs> Hasn't he? In a way. But you know, whatever, I don't get bitter or immature about my brother's success, that's the key. But you know, if you do follow the indie, he used to piss the bed. <laughs> so, whatever. <laughs> I shouldn't say that, man, making a joke about it and all, you know, like he's obviously, you know, he's one of the world's best now at driving really, really fast in a circle. <laughs> And I think that that's no, you know, like that's no joke. He can drive. Like I look around here tonight, and I just see you guys. Like if my brother was here and he went out in the car park, you know, he, yeah, he'd be way quicker. <laughs> like he's like, Duh. like he's like, he risks his life to drive really fast in a circle. And I don't think that's a joke. I think that's sometimes he's driven so fast recently in a circle. <laughs> That he won and he got to spray a woman with champagne. Yeah, which is what he really wanted to do. He didn't ever want to race. He just wanted to spray women with champagne and he used racing to get to that. Like he used to do it in his day job. Cheryl, have you done that photocopying? You haven't. He's a. Uh, He's a very philosophical guy, my brother, because he can die doing his job. That's scary. It makes you very philosophical. And like he said something to me about success in our society, now that he's you know achieved these dreams, so to speak. And he said to me something that stuck with me forever. He said, you know what, bro? Everything I've ever dreamed of having since I was a kid, I have right now. And he said, you know what? It doesn't make you any happier. He said, in fact, it can make you sadder because all the things we're told in this society over and over and over again will make you happy, fame, money, whatever, actually doesn't. And that makes you sadder. And then he looked me right in the eyes and he said, you know what success is? Being content with what you have and being with your friends and family in the moment. He said, that's, that's really success. And then he looked me right in the eyes, and I'll never forget this, and he held my gaze like he was looking through me. And he just started his Ferrari up. <laughs> And then he flicked me a small diamond because he, he carries them around and just... <laughs> and then he just took off because I'm not allowed to sit in that particular car. <laughs> and then he just started doing circles. <laughs> He's like, right on, bro, that is success. That is success.